Chocolate pastry is a bakery favorite because it has so many applications. I started by showing you the fundamentals, that basic chocolate dough, then we turned that into chocolate slice cookies. Then we advanced the technique and moved into tart au chocolat, where the chocolate pastry held that rich, silky chocolate filling. Now it's time for the ultimate application, warm chocolate orange tarts. Just like the tart au chocolat, these shells have a removable bottom, and I put a little dusting of flour at the bottom of each one, and I shaped the dough into the log, just like I did for the cookie slices, and then sliced individual rounds, eight exactly. And the rolling technique is still the same. Take this to the shell, press it in carefully. I don't want a bubble at the bottom of each tart shell, so a little bit of docking. These will be baked the same way as the larger chocolate tart. I have to chill it down for a good 20 minutes. Because they're smaller, they take a couple minutes less, so 18 minutes at 350. Perfect. You can check the doneness of these tart shells the same way as that larger shell. They've got that even matte finish, so I know they're cooked through. I have to put a wet filling into these tart shells, and I don't want the shells to go soggy. So what I do, warm from the oven, is take a single egg white and then brush a thin layer on the bottom of the tart shell. Now you have a waterproof barrier that will prevent the filling from soaking into the crust. So that means I can get to making this warm, gooey filling. I have three eggs. I've separated them, so I have the yolks here and the whites in my larger bowl. And I'll add to the yolks a quarter cup of sugar and then some orange zest. Just a teaspoon of vanilla. This portion of the chocolate filling, I'm gonna whisk by hand, just until it's thick and pale and a little buttery color. You can see how it lightened up a couple of tones. The whites, I'm going to whip to a soft peak while slowly adding a quarter cup of sugar. go. They've got a nice, soft, full curl to them. And I'll add these all in one addition to my yolk mixture. I use my whisk to fold it around the whites. There we go. I'll sift in a quarter cup of cocoa powder. switch to a spatula. It really is sort of like making a cake batter, except when it bakes up, it's much softer and fudgier. Okay, now for the chocolate. It goes right in. Every last drop. Ooh, and all of a sudden, this batter takes on a beautiful shine. And now, to heighten the orange flavor just that little bit more, some orange liqueur. And now, this is ready to be poured into the cooled tart shells. So, to make it easier to pour, I'll put it into my measuring cup here. There we 
No. These are now ready for the oven, and they only take eight minutes. You know the filling's done when you still have a shiny center to it. Now, to serve, I'll pop it out of its shell. And it is fragile because it's warm. There we go. The minute you serve it, the whole room fills with the fragrance of chocolate. So it's crunchy. <gasps> and look at that soft inside. 